on this episode of In The Box. Is it just another rant or an inspirational speech? You decide. And we're going full tilt on the parcel that was sent in by Scott. The show's about to begin. So let's get things started right now. Welcome to the Tuesday's edition of In the Box, a hockey card show. Today we are on episode number 26 in the series, and despite the topic, it is still a great day. And I'm a great catch. I think that's a pretty good combo. Now, a few episodes back, I did get into a rant regarding some of my pet peeves. Now, today, I wouldn't necessarily call this topic something that is really going to get me into a rant per se, but it's not exactly a pet peeve. It kind of really hits me because I somewhat take it a little personally. Some time back, I was scrolling through my Facebook feed. Oh, here we go again. He's going to get all into the Facebook and start complaining about what he's saying. That's probably somebody that's just complaining. It's not typical of me to go on Facebook and, and seek out these things. But on this particular day, I was scrolling through a group, which is about hockey cards and whatnot. I believe this gentleman was probably in his early, maybe even late 20s. And he had posted his website where you could uh, go and sell your cards. The problem was, for me, the comments. Even though the comments weren't directed at me, I kind of felt where this gentleman possibly stood or even felt that day. All of us know there's all kinds of different websites out there. There's there's Amazon, there's eBay, and there's, there's ComC. And, and then you have some of the people out there that actually want to kind of, you know, branch off and do their own thing. I don't ever see a problem with that. These commenters, or at least the majority of them that day, did have a problem with it. This young gentleman had basically told people, like in a, in a nice paragraph, what to expect from his site and, and the charges and, and all that stuff. And immediately, there were people that were like, why would we use your site as opposed to like eBay? I was just reading through some of these comments and you can just kind of tell, at least from my perspective, what types of people these commenters were. Another gentleman said, oh, you just made this site because, you know, you're mad at eBay for something or whatever. There were more negative comments. Now, there were a few positive. The majority focused on why would anyone go to your site? I think the gentleman had like some kind of, of a of a monthly plan. I think it was like 10 bucks a month. And uh, people were like, yeah, but we can just go to eBay and like get whatever for free. I haven't been a very big eBayer since, if I had to guess, about 2006. And I have my own reasons for that. It's amazing how many people you can kind of pinpoint if eBay had the opportunity to become multiple human beings. Many eBayers would marry it. They're that passionate about it. It's like, if you ain't on eBay, if you don't use eBay, you ain't nothing. Calm down there, Lewis. Like, there are other things in the world than just that, okay? You can tell the diehards. So they were saying, you know, like, we could just use eBay. Why would anybody pay for your stuff? And I'm sitting there and I'm reading this and I'm thinking, I can probably tell you about 13 or 14 different reasons. I don't know how much this young fellow can tell you, but I know I can tell you. And I'm not trying to just like kind of stir a big pot. You know, like I'm sure there's some of my viewers out there that do use eBay and like it and they don't mind it. I've never heard people be so, so charged up. There are people that use other platforms. I've never seen anybody else dispute it and argue it like, oh my God. Oh my God, holy jeez, oh my God. But they were just, they were just totally trying to like completely destroy his, his drive, his, you know, his goal, like whatever, his ambitions, you know, his business. And it's kind of like, why, why? The thing that baffles me is that I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, he made a site. Does it bother you? Does it hurt you? Does it have any effect on you? If the answer to all those questions is no, move along. Maybe it's something he's been looking forward to, you know, for a good portion of his life. Maybe it's 
Maybe it's a goal that he's been trying to achieve and he finally achieved it. And he just wants people to give it a chance or even just take a look at it. You know, who knows? Who knows? You know, there's a lot of different people in the world. There are people that just don't, they don't have, they don't have goals. They don't have ambition. They don't have the the knowledge to do certain things, right? They don't, and, and let alone the patience to do it. So let's just slag everybody else down. That, that do, let's just slag them down. And it just kind of really ruffled ruffled my feathers. A friend of mine once told me there are two people in the world. There are leaders and there are followers. eBay didn't rise overnight. Amazon didn't just rise overnight. Most places that are popular today that we use all the time or order from didn't just happen to pop up yesterday. I was in this kid's shoes. I've tried so many different things in life that I thought I would stick to. Creating a business or a website and all that other stuff and everything that comes with it. It's a lot of work, it takes a lot of time, it takes knowledge. And, and it totally hit me because I was like, you know what, I was there. I was down there, I started something from the ground up. I didn't have 56,000 other people that were backing me up, sitting there saying, hey, if you do this, yeah, we back you up, we back you up. That's where it kind of really hit me. And I started to get angry. It shows more about these people than it does this kid. Who's to say that all these people that were sitting there saying, Oh yeah, well your site is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing, man. It's nothing. It's eBay all the way. Ooh, ooh. Give it a rest there, Lewis. Who's to say that in 5, 10 years, maybe in 15 years, who's to say you're not going to be going there and you're going to be paying him? You look pretty awfully stupid. To sit there and, and talk down to someone that has a goal, that has a business, that, does, that has done something, that has built something. Maybe at some given point, the people that put eBay or Amazon, whatever, I'm pretty sure that they've already had doubt, that they've already been discouraged. Every day, every single day, there's somebody that has a dream, that has an idea, that has a goal, and they're trying to achieve it. And I'm sure a lot of them go through the same stuff being talked down, like trying, almost like they're trying to convince you not to bother doing it. To those people, I would often say, if you don't have a dream of your own, if you don't have a goal of your own, that's fine, you don't need to, but you don't need to go after that person. I was never a huge fan of Gary V, but over the past several months, there's been a lot of his quotes that I totally understand, I totally get it now, and I totally agree with. And his quotes are very, they're very inspiring. You know, the minute you sit back and you get that doubt or whatever, listen to Gary V. Because he will like lift you up and he'll be like, get in there. <laughs> He's straight to the point, but very much in your face about it. To this day, I don't know whatever happened to that, to that younger guy. Um, I assume that his business is still going. I'm sure if I see the site again, because I did visit it. If I ever see the site again, I'll, I'll recognize it. And I will 100% tell them, good job. For, forget what they have to say. They're going to keep doing whatever. As I mentioned before, there's followers and there's leaders, right? You're one or the other. I see this kid as a leader. He still might be using other platforms, but he stepped back to do his own thing. To anybody out there, anyone, I don't care if you're into collecting socks or use bandages. I don't care if you want to make a store about tight underwear, whatever that you have that you want to put into play, whatever idea, whatever goal, whatever the frig it is, if you have the drive to do it, do it. If it takes you a year, two, three, 10, 15, do it. If it's your passion, do it. The minute you start listening to everybody out there and you allow it to almost dictate the outcome, those voices are not gonna do any favors. Look past that. Ignore it. Do your thing. Do your passion. Do what you want to do. Your dream. It will happen. Just takes a lot of times. You know, it might take some time and it will take a lot of work, but it is possible. It is very much possible. I've had many times, many times where I got discouraged. Many times I wanted to give up. Many times I just didn't think it was worth the time to do it. It wasn't worth the money to do it. But the thing that kept me going was how passionate I was. Once I realized I get to do what I love. That was all the motivation I need. So again, anyone out there, anyone out there with a dream, anyone out there that has something that you want to do, that you love, do it. I promise you, 
it will flourish. With that being said, whew, it's time to get back into the swing of things. So you know what that means. It means we've got some packs to open, my friends. And let's see what's in the box. Let's go. Back to the card cam we go. So I decided to take all the packs out, place them here. So that way it's just grab and go. Oh, so we still have quite a bit, as you can see. And uh, we're going to see how much we can get done in the time frame that I have. So, whew, as you can tell, guys, I got a little worked up on that segment. But I think... I'm coming down from it now, so we're we're pretty good. We're good, we're good, we're good. So there were two packs here, and uh, I do recall Scott mentioning that he had some of these available and asked if I wanted some, and I said, well, I would love that because I need some for my uh, collection. These are just the base cards to uh, Metal Universe. So we're not necessarily going to go through these, but I am just going to take them out of the packaging for now. They don't seem to be in any kind of order or numerical order, I should say. So there we go. Take those out, put those off to the side and let's get her started. All right, let's see what we have got. I'm already liking the first card here, as we can see. Look at that. Look at that. Prism Rookie. I really like these. I, I, I think I'm only missing a few um, for this set, if I'm not mistaken. I I recognize that card right off the hop, so I already know I have a uh, Glenny there. Let's check her out. We got some Victory Rookies. Got a plethora of those. Look at that Bobby Ryan. That's not a bad uh, rookie card to get. Miko Koivu, MVP insert. Eh, I don't come across these too, too often. Men in the middle from Opeachy, Forsberg and Madonna. That's a, that's pretty cool. Like it's, a, as you can tell, it's like a drawing or a painting. I'm not really sure that it says anything in the back in regards to it, but those are pretty neat cards. Marky Men from Tops. Good old Patrick Roy. Got two of those. You got a ton of these, ton of these hockey heroes, Martin Brodeur. Look at that, another Prism rookie. I, I, boy, hold on, I'm mistaken that for uh, that Prism there. I'm pointing at here. That's not exactly the same. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Well, that's quite the name. Look at how long that name is. Holy moly! And some more Picard. Some hometown heroes. I am actually in the middle of. Putting, I got a bunch of these. I got a bunch of these. So I'm putting a lot of these together to see what I'm missing. And I think so far uh, for 2005, 2006, 2006, 2007, I ain't missing any so far, I, I think. Um, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hello. Look at that. First time we come across these, the future draft, uh, draft prospects from uh, in the game. The end of the game when Dr. Price was running it. I know I mentioned that in previous episodes. I'm like, I love the in the game stuff when Dr. Price was there, when he was the owner. Um, a lot of that stuff, I still I still need a lot of it. Um, so mostly like the inserts and stuff like that. Like most of the base sets I pretty much already have. Uh, okay, so tops, young stars. We got a rookie here. Uh, oh, is that Volchenkov? Well, all be darned. That is Volchenkov. Okay, another Prism rookie. Yeah, got a couple of them there. Oh, Boo Bennett. Nice. Nice. Liking those. There we go. Back to some ITG. Loving this. Loving this. The Cherry, uh, the Peers and Prospects. Uh, who, who was it? It was a Team Cherry and Team Ore, I think. I think that's what it was back then. Tops Prospects game. Pretty nifty. Look at that. Uh, we've got some uh, total certified. 
some uh, SPX rookies. I think I have all, all of those rookies of that year. Toes. <laughs> SPX. There we go. Conacher. Still missing quite a bit of these. The uh, Team Canada. Um, oh, what is it? Hydro? Yeah, Hydro is the subset. Can't see it because the blocker's in the way. Still missing quite a bit of those. We got some score here. Forsberg Magic Moments. Zach Redman, the Fire on Ice. That's a pretty neat subset. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. Select Rainbow. We got a couple of rainbows here. Under Select. I actually really like Select. It was a good product. Biography of a Season. 6-7 Pronger. And back to some uh, good old victory rookies. Got a ton of those. If you're looking for a site to, to check out and just browse around and see stuff like this, you can check out the website in the description of this very video. And here we go. Scott packs it so well. <laughs> you try to get it out and it's like, it's too much. You can't, you can't take him out. But alas, we did. Continuing on, we got some more select. Pajot. It's a good rookie to get right there. Another one there. Look at that. Oh, boy. It's, I mean, it's in rough shape. It's in rough shape, but it, it is a Gretzky nonetheless. I do have this entire set. That's too bad. It's too bad, though. Yeah, that, the corner there is all flipped up. Whatever. Creases and stuff. Oh, well. I'll put that in, like, a box to donate somewhere. Some kid would like that. Well, I don't know about that. They might not even know who Gretzky is. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. You never quite know. Okay, Cousins, we've got some uh, silver rookies here. Silver script rookies. Awesome, awesome. Liking that. That'll fit well. Goal rush. That one's in rough shape there. Uh, I mean, I don't need it. But uh, that might go in the donation bin for now. Okay. Oh, I remember these. I remember these. The the pro set puck. Yeah. I I don't I don't remember if I have this set or not. I don't remember. Look at that. There's a Gretzky there. And it's not in terrible shape. Not in terrible shape by any means. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Like I know this set, but I'm, I can't remember if I have it all or not. Yeah. Pro set puck. <laughs> <laughs> oh good gosh the uh score 90 oh hold on 94 95 check it oh samuelson oh ah, samuelson joyce probably missing that because that does not look familiar to me oh malkin gold medallion prism pivotal players that's eh, not a bad one to have i like that i like that the thing i like about prism and some of the, even the, the inserts, you put like two in your hand and it's like you can feel the weight, right? And it's like, man, those are those are pretty heavy cards. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Oh, I just punched my mic. <laughs> it's like, Poof! Tim just punched us. Tim just punched us. <laughs> okay, anyhow. <laughs> Cunningham, a rookie from Select. Yeah, Alexander Semin. Hometown Heroes, probably likely have that. Peugeot again. Oh, here we go. So these these are the ones. What are they? Is this 14? No, it's 12, 13, even, even earlier. These came out of a Rookie Anthology. So these ones, I am still building this set. Um, I just can't recall how many are in the set and how many I have. It's been a while since I've even seen those. Some more victory. Let's see. Kalpatar, good old Bowman draft. Prospect Lance Ward. Yeah, look at that. A couple of MVP rookies. Oh, I remember these. This is Parkhurst uh, Champions. Parkhurst Champions from 2011. This was a pretty hot product. I, I recall working at the shop. I was working at a card shop then. And I remember this product had a few people coming in buying it like, like fairly often. And, um, 
yeah, they, they, they enjoyed it. Like from what I remember anyways. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a bad set by any means. Eric's or Mark Stahl, sorry, Mark Stahl rookie has a bit of a bend in the corner, but nothing crazy. That's not so bad. Not so bad. Oh, look at that. Nicholas Backstrom rookie as well from victory. And we've got an MVP silver scripts. I likely need that if I don't destroy it before I put it in my collection. Uh, Tavares Hockey Heroes. And look at that. We got another uh, gold. Gold from Topps. Uh, Trevor Kidd. And it looks like we got a little chunk here of victory rookies. Cogliano. So stall again. Who else? Who else we got? Who else we got? Oh, set of Gucci. That's not, that's not a horrible one. Uh, David Perron. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. I likely have all those, but that's okay. Collector's Choice. The, the, the good old Stickums. Patrick Roy. <laughs> nice. Nice. MVP Rookie. Oh, that, see, that, that one's in better shape. That, uh, that Gretzky, that one's in better shape. I mean, I can't see it having a ton of value, but... But I do know I have this uh, this set all together. So that will likely be put up for sale. Uh, another Gretzky here from the uh, Parkers, the NHL Centennial Salute subset. And a Gretzky hologram. Look at that. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> I have that though. And this is uh, the Marquee Rookie. What year was this? That's 12-13. Uh, so 12 13. I like I like these uh, these um, retros as opposed to the retros where they just kind of zoom in, right? Like this one, you you know I like I don't know I just prefer it that way. That's me though. Okay, we got uh, this Mike Gardner, which I believe is some yes, it's a Topps reprint. Two of 15. A little thing on it. Oh, it's just a piece of dust or something. All right, that's all right. And Andrew Ference. Okay, holy moly. Was that a... No, 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 that's our second pack. Second pack. Okay, let's grab another one. Let's grab another one. Grab another one. He ho, let's go. What you gonna get, yo? All right. <laughs> you know, you know when you go to a hockey game... And then they have the music playing, you know, between, like, face-offs. Oh, that's what I should do. Every time I grab a pack, do a little song. <laughs> so these I don't come across very often. Derek Stepan, the uh, Ultra Fleer Buckets. I know I'm missing some from this uh, subset. I don't know how many exactly, but I do know I am missing some. And I'm hoping this is one that I need. Really hoping for it. Ooh, okay, Dan Blackburn from uh, Young Stars is Bowman. Uh, that's his rookie. Loving the black cards, like I mentioned before. I like those dark ones. Anders Lee, rookie. Kabalik, hot rookies from Score. And, oh, that's, that's, not, that's not a set we no normally see. The uh, Parkhurst. And some more gold medallions. So let's just take a look and see who we've got here. Holwig, Holt, Pruka, uh, Corey Locke, oh, a couple of him. Oh, Brian Boyle. Brian, Bo Brian, Brian Boyle. Did Brian Boyle just retire not that long ago? I'm trying to remember. Am I might thinking of somebody else? Anyhow, uh, Salani. We got Salani, Salani, Salami, uh, Datsuk, Zetterberg. Oh, Datsuk again. Budai. Who's that? I'm trying to see your name. I'm trying to see your name. Oh, I'm just going to look in the back. Oh. Nope. Nope. Forsberg. Sundin. Sundin. Look at that. I got two Sundins from two separate different years there. Uh, Brodar. <laughs> Datsuk. Well, I can't complain too much about the names. Nash. Forsberg. Holy moly. Holy moly. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Some more hometown heroes. Like I said before, I, I think I'm pretty much going to have all of those once I'm done going through the whole freaking stack. I got like like unbelievable how many like I I gathered them all up from 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 all places that I have cards and like I had a nice stack. Like I was like holy flip. I got to have most of these if not all of them. 
All right, so here's something a little different. Here's something a little different, as I mentioned before. Uh, I believe in the previous episode, if I'm not mistaken, that you know, Scott always has, <coughs> excuse me, a nice mix of stuff. And other sports, he's not limited to at all. He's not just not just hockey all the time. I mean, I think majority, yes, but that's what I like. I like checking out the other stuff that comes in, like the football, hockey, uh, not, <laughs> the football, the basketball, baseball. I love checking out to see what stuff comes uh from from those from those releases so by any means i don't always know who these uh players are like some names yes i, I could tell you i know them so it's it's, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool uh there is a couple of guys that i do talk to that they're like hey you know they've um been talking to them for some time a couple of years actually and they're like hey i'll i'll swap you i'll swap you like you know, some, uh, some of your basketball or your football or your baseball or whatever. And, uh, in exchange, you know, for whatever, you know, for like hockey or, you know, like we always, we always have a deal. It's always something different. So, so like, sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that's not the case, but yeah, regardless, I still like getting this stuff in. And checking it out. I'm just going through it real quick because, you know, this is, after all, a hockey card show. It's in the title. It's in the title. You can't mistake if it's in the title. Eh? <laughs> Me and my horrible celebrity impressions. <laughs> I actually had, um, I actually had a few people comment, <laughs> send me texts <laughs> regarding the, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger one I did some time back. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> you don't know what you talk about. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I can't do that. I know I can tell I'm going to laugh before I even attempt it. That's why it always comes up so horribly. Okay, so Hockey Heroes, I do have a ton of these, but you can't, can't help but notice these amazing players, Grant Fuhrer, Mike Gardner, Dale Howardchuck, Mike Bossy, Paul Coffey. Oh my gosh, Brad Park. Like, just amazing players. Amazing players. Okay, some score. Oh, never mind. Some victory. <laughs> Chris Kreider. Eh, that's a double diamond Vanek. And then back to some hockey heroes. Curry, Messier. Here again, a couple times actually. There we go, and uh, some select. And then we got some uh, metal universe. These are the um, subsets, though. And I believe what was that from? I think that was from like Fleer Showcase. I think. Oh, that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. That is the um, oh my gosh, Bowman's best. And I believe this. I think this is a refractor. I want to say it's a refractor. I think and that that penny sleeve is really sick. You know, I got to stop calling them penny sleeves. You don't, you can't buy them for a penny anymore. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. <laughs> I can't believe that. Like, uh, and some of the prices. Oh my gosh, are just ridiculous. Thankfully, I have a guy. Thankfully, I have a guy. So. That's as far as I'm going to go into that. Uh, okay. Okay. And then back to those. Now, I want to look back at this one. And I I remember this. The uh, the Centennial Canadians set. This was the high numbers. I think I have the base set. I I, I want to say the base set was like 100, maybe 200. I can't really remember. It's been, it's been a while. But the higher numbers, like, were hard to get. So... I don't, I don't even think I have a handful of them. So this does not look familiar to me. So at least that's one card I know 100% that I don't have that will be going into the collection. Okay. Hurry up, open it. It's going to blow. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me and my nuttiness. Okay, so we got some uh, score gold. We got a couple of those. 
And a OPG. Oh, like an older one. Uh, rookie there. Prosper. I don't think this is... Uh... Here's the thing with these ones, though. Some of these Opeaches, that one doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> some of these Opeaches, sometimes they'll say prospect. And you would think, you'd think, but like, you know, it's likely a rookie, right? And, uh, yeah, no, it's not. Um, not in all instances, but but some of them, because I've looked them up. Uh, is that a Pavel Datsuk rookie? Oh, no, that can't be his rookie card. That can't be, I don't think. His stats are on the back. I don't know. Who knows? I am, wasn't even sure that was him when I first saw it. <laughs> Mike Smith. No, what is... That's a that's a variation. I know that. But I can't re recall. It's like a gray edition or something. A gray parallel. I can't recall. Don't remember. Uh, Carter Camper. Rookie. Uh, I almost said orange there. Green. Ice parallel. And then we got a couple of zero men. It's older. Ooh, the diamond. The diamond cuts. Ah, these will be useful. These will be useful. I don't have a ton of these. Osgood, Fisay, Richter, Buron. Oh, we got two. Of, are these? I can't remember. Are these numbered? No, they're not. They're just die cut. They're just die cut. That's it. They're just die cut. But it's it's a pretty cool set. Pretty cool set that I'm still putting together. Sign of the Times. Oh, is that from the... Um... Hey, yeah. Oh, I can't remember what this is. This is a UD Choice, but it was a different... I think it was one that was released in Europe. Or something like that. I don't recognize that. Oh, Pinnacle. That is a, uh, a set all its own. I think it's just the All-Star set. I, was really, I think it was like 50 cards in that set believe i have all that so okay a couple of score rookies a gold score look at that glenn wesley tops gold <coughs> pardon me guys biography of a season uh these were kind of neat <laughs> the bobblehead things or whatever the frig they are yeah i've never actually put one together <laughs> that was kind of neat though kind of a cool idea uh, the Collector's Choice Players Club Parallels. So the only thing that really sticks out is, of course, the gray border or silver, depending on what color you decide to see, I guess. And the uh, the stamp that says Players Club right there on the edge. So, yeah, it's a set. I still I probably have a good chunk of them. But still putting together. The only thing I didn't like about these cards when, when they came out, like, oh my god, just not doing a good job at handling everything today. Is the 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 cards are so like the, the, the card stock is so thin for these cards, like so thin. It's crazy. Not a fan of a very, very thin, thin like card stock. These look like uh like I mentioned before, the collector's choice. These look like the uh European releases. <clears throat> Goal Rush. That's uh, from some time back. Playmakers from MVP. Once again, early 2000s. And then, uh, yeah, so this is the uh, the All-Star. I think it was like an All-Star game set or something like that. Pinnacle release. And Vintage. And a bunch of these draft reports. I have this set probably four or five times over. So there's quite a bit here. Uh, let's just see. I don't remember there being anybody exceptional in this subset, but uh, who is that? Not that guy. This guy. Oh, is that? Oh, why is his name escaping me right now? It's Chris Beach, but that's not who I was thinking of. I was thinking of somebody else. Who the frick was I thinking of? Oh, let me look at his face again. <laughs> why am I drawing a blank? I can... Okay, moving on. Moving on. Zero men. Um, that is um, Eddie the Eagle. Yes, Eddie the Eagle. It was from a few years back. Upper deck release. Holy moly! How are we doing on time? We got, we still got some time. We still got some time. Let's grab another one. I want to actually check this one out right here. It's not. It's not. It's not as full, but uh, definitely would like to check that one out. If I remember, I'll grab that one next. If I remember. 
SPX rookies. Edmondson. I got, got the majority of those rookies there. Prism. Rookie once again. A couple more SPX. These ones weren't so bad. They weren't they weren't the worst SPX uh rookie, you know, design, but it wasn't wasn't the best. Like wasn't the worst. You know, like, you know, it's okay. Uh okay. And then we have some Opichi. These are uh oh that one's got that one has got a nice big crease in it and a ding in the corner. But if I don't have it, as I mentioned previously, if I don't have it, put it in my collection until I can replace it. Um, but the rest seem to be okay. So I think these might just be like the, the rainbow variations by the looks of it. One, there was one year, oh my gosh, it was one year there were several different parallels for OPG. And there were, I remember there were two that looked so identical. It was like, 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 I'm, I'm trying to remember what the titles were. And it's like, how, like, how, what, how, how do you, you can't even decipher one from the other. Like, it was just, like, you would tell us enough of a difference, but holy flip. And it's kind of like, one was like, I don't know, like gold. And it's like, you know, gold something like i wish i i wish i could think of the titles uh of the subsets but it was like and it confused me because like what the flip man like they're they're so identical like how are you supposed to figure one out from the other i like now that in some cases they actually put the title on the back like what parallel it is that's smart took them a while but they did it they did it okay we got some rookie gems couple of rookie gems actually and gets laugh oh that's a triple diamond and yari curry triple diamond the anniversary subset oh some overtime we all know i like my overtime i can't recall if i have these i do i do recognize these these rookie profiles i just can't remember if i have these or not always cool if i like it and Malkin and Luongo is from McDonald's. Remember those? That's a nice, that's a nice design for a card. And back to the anniversary. Okay, okay, okay. I said this one. I said it. I'm grabbing it. We're doing it. I'm opening it. It's the first card. It's the top card that is kind of intriguing me. This one right here. Yeah. And the reason why it does is because is because it is from Team Canada. Team Canada Juniors. And this is from uh, 2018. And I don't have a ton of the Team Canada releases. Um, after the last one I remember really getting into is 2016. Yeah, I think. Anyways, so... But this year, like, I know I don't have a lot of these ones. Like, just looking at it, I already know. I have a few, but not a lot. So, I was kind of hoping there was going to be more. <laughs> That's not what's back there, as far as I can tell. So, let's just keep going. All world team. Scoring kings. Uh, who else we got here? And I like, I like, I love this design. I know it's so simple. It's very simple. Very simple. But I love this design. It's probably one of my favorite designs for the rookies, the ultra rookies, in all the years of the, you know, when, once they started like making Fleer Ultra again, when uh, when Upper Deck took it over. This is probably one of my favorite designs. Just it's so simple. It's like it's like you know what? Sometimes simple is is just good. You know, it's it's there's nothing wrong with it. You don't even know how how do they say that? Kiss. You know, keep it. Keep it simple, stupid. So that always works. Well, not always, but sometimes. And some victory rookies. And some inserts. There's some you know, kippers off there. Game breakers. A couple game breakers. I know I have a ton of those already. Uh, Dion Phaneuf from Fleer. Gold medallion. Is that uh, who I think it is? No, it's not. <laughs> I just... I just glanced at the jersey and I'm like, oh, is that like, who was I thinking of? I was thinking of somebody. <laughs> and I look in the back. Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
Not that guy. Okay. Okay. Ah, some UD Canvas, Dylan Larkin. Oh, look at that. There's a McDonald's, Leon Dreisaitl, and Mitch Marner. Nice. That should have went with the other McDonald's stuff from the last episode, which is uh, now placed somewhere else. Some more McDonald's, or McDonald's. Oh, my gosh, Tim Hortons. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I hope you guys picked up on that. Hey, he screwed it up. <laughs> what annoyed. <laughs> I'm imitating you guys making fun of me. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> uh, some allure. Got some allure. Oh, got the black rainbow. Nice. I wish these were numbered. You know, like when I look at these, I mentioned this, I know before. I mentioned it before. I know. When I look at these, I think of like, like Opichi, like the black, the black variations. It's like they're, they're out of like, a hundred. Why couldn't you do it with these ones too? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Okay, I'm grabbing another pack. I'm grabbing another one. I'm grabbing another one. Rantanen. Rookie from Parker's. That's a subset there, so my leg is itchy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing's off limits here. Well, maybe it, maybe y'all. You know, I shouldn't say that because a lot is, I guess. <laughs> Stevie Y, uh, another another silver script from MVP. Tuca, mm, rookie gems, MVP talent. I've I don't mind these cards. I just see them so often, and I don't necessarily mean like in collections or in lots. I just mean like when I'm going through my MVP box, you know, sorting stuff away, like. Over the years, I've gotten so many of those. So it's like, it's like, oh man, I see them so often. Some gold from Score, Joey Juno. I had a hard time getting this set back in the day. Holy moly! I know I have it now, but uh, got a bit of white in the corner there, but nothing too severe. Nothing too severe. I know, I know there's some people I've met, like, and talked to, like, some collectors, and they are like, if the card is not super pristine, they're perfect cut. It's got to be like, it's almost like the, even if it came right off of the, you know, the, the machine that cuts the cards and all that stuff, like, I'm drawing a blank, it's that machine, what it's called. But even if it comes right off of that, if it's not, like, super perfect, well, it's not, no, they don't want it. They don't want it. It's like, holy, like, I can see if it's a, like a, a super high end expensive car. I get it. But I mean, just like normal, like base cars or something. Like, I really like, I'm not that fussy, right? Like I'm really not because there's so many cars out there. So many people trying to sell, like you'll likely in most cases come across that card again, if you have a damaged one. So even if it's got, you know, minor issue or a printing issue or a small bump or something like that yeah you'll likely find it again but i know some people holy moly <laughs> it's like so like you think they were getting it great every single card graded but to each their own everybody collects a different way you know that's that's cool that's fine so you know this one's got a nice big bend in it you can see it in the corner here but in the front it's got a big bend in it See something like that, something like that. Like I probably wouldn't sell just in the in just in the off chance that somebody's like super 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 fussy, right? Um, some people like eh, some might might not mind, but in this case, I like it's not something I would sell or anything like that. So I I normally like donate it to um you know like a, a thrift shop or something like that, or give it give it to a kid or something like that, you know. But for the most part, though, it's it's not too often that a lot of these um, lots and, and stuff like that come in that way. And sometimes I'm sure it comes that way due to shipping, right? I think in some cases, not necessarily uh, like this, this lot, but I'm just, I'm speaking in general. So, all right. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, episodes running a little long here, I think. But uh, I see there's, this isn't necessarily a hockey lot. This one's a football. So we're just going to take a quick look at these here. Because, like, 
like I said before, I, I really, really like seeing the, the releases of other sports just to see what, what they come up with. And I think these are from Panini and Didi McCready. They are. So I like to see what they come up with because some of the designs when Panini was making hockey cards, oh, frig, I really liked, I really liked a lot of them. So yeah, so I always like checking these out. Of course, as I said before, I'm not not heavily into football or any other sports. I know some players. I'm not like the pro at these ones. So, but these will uh, will likely will likely at some point, if I uh, if I can say if I could be as bold as saying so, will make it onto the site at some given point. And that site, if I haven't mentioned it four or five thousand times already, <laughs> is in the description of this video. Now that's that's not bad. That's a pretty nice insert, actually. That's pretty nice. Some of, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, man. I ain't a trader by any means, but there's there I've seen I have seen some inserts from like football and basketball. Um, even some baseball. And it's like, oh my God, like those are beautiful. Like some of them are like way better than some inserts in hockey, like by far. Right. And it's kind of like, wow, why don't they make something like that in hockey? Right. But then again, then again, different manufacturer, right? Different ideas, different people working there, different, you know, so I get it. I get it. And we get to the end of this. All right. Oh, shoots. <laughs> I just realized, like, I have to pick a card of the episode. <laughs> and I had one in mind, and I didn't... Oh, my gosh, I didn't put it aside. I did not put it aside. Uh-oh. Oh-oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, you're going to have to deal with me a little bit longer here. Hold on. I want to say it's... Oh, darn. Why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Why do you do this to yourself? I don't know, baby. But I have you here to help me. <laughs> Welcome to Tim's Country Singing. <laughs> Tim's Country Singing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I find it, 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 it. You guys probably already know what it is anyways. I should probably just be like, it was this one. You don't remember it? We're going to watch it again. <laughs> I'm taking it out. You know how many cards I went through? <laughs> I should be called the angry hobbyist. There we go. Rebrand the whole thing. Welcome to in the toilet. Where everything's going down it. Let's go. And, you know, the beginning would be something different, like toilet flushing or something. <laughs> they get in there. What are you guys doing here? Get out of here. <laughs> all mad all the time. <laughs> oh, you guys might enjoy that. Who knows? But the runner up is this one here. Just, uh, I, I just think it's a nice card. That's it. Not, it's not just because I don't have it. <laughs> in my collection already but it's just it's it quite literally because I, I i really do like it i think it's a really nice design provincial prevent oh my gosh learn how to spoke provincial prow pro i'm just not gonna say it there you can read it <laughs> how is that for an idea you guys should read it there you go to my angry angry hobbyist why don't you read it i'm tired of reading <laughs> Anyways, that's a runner-up, runner-up. But the card of the episode is going to fall in the hands of the Ultra or Fleer Ultra buckets. Cool because it's a die cut. It's nice. It's shiny. It's reflective. It's a really cool idea. I think it's a bit older from 1415, but regardless, they are a pretty cool subset. <laughs> Here's the tricky part. Because <laughs> you can't necessarily put it on there without it kind of falling. Okay, we'll just cheat. There we go. 
There we are. There you have it. <laughs> Turn your head sideways and you can see the card of the episode. Now, I may not know how many card packs were in that parcel in total, but I could tell you there are only 11 remaining. So I think I got into that pretty good this episode. And uh, wow, some of those football cards, you know, I was just thinking about when I was going through them when I was talking. It was like, man, some of those are pretty freaking nice, man. Not to mention, there were quite a bit of nice hockey cards. Um, many of which that, of course, we've we've seen in previous episodes and stuff. But there were some in there I definitely know that I do need. Whew, wow, it has been quite the episode. Oh, and now I got to prepare for the next. Oh, so, as the saying goes on this show, remember that collecting does not have to break the bank. And until next time, just keep building that collection. And we'll see you. Take care. Stay safe.